Hello, Principal Skinner. It's good to see you. Oh, oh, oh. How have you been? I've been well, thank you. So how about those Red Sox? Are they going to make a comeback this season? Uh, the eternal optimist. We'll see, but I'm not holding my breath. You got me. So, what brings you here today? I just wanted to touch base and see how things are going at the school. We've had some concerns from parents about the new curriculum. Oh, I haven't heard anything about that. Is there anything specific they're worried about? Some are concerned about the amount of homework their children are bringing home, while others are worried about the emphasis on standardized testing. We just want to make sure we're meeting the needs of all our students. I understand. I'll reach out to the parents and see if we can address their concerns. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. Yeah. I burned my sushi pizza. This is completely my own fault. Then why do I always manage to fuck things up, even when I try so hard to seem human? Maybe I'm just not cut out for this. But I won't give up. I'll keep trying until I get it right. Maybe I'll start by trying new recipes and practicing my cooking skills. Or maybe I'll take a class on human behavior. That could be really interesting. I'll learn from the experts and become the best fake human I can be. Yeah, that's it. I won't let this setback hold me back. I'll keep trying new things until I get it right. Damn it, I need a replacement for this burnt sushi pizza. Skinner looks out the window and sees a sheep, Escaran di Pecora, grazing in a nearby field. That's it. Escarundi Pecora will make a perfect substitute for my burnt pizza. He considers how to prepare the sheep, wondering if he should try to catch it or simply ask the farmer for some meat. I need to come up with a plan, but I'll need some luck to pull this off. As he ponders his next move, Skinner curses his burnt food once again. Chalmers enters the kitchen and notices smoke coming from the stove. Skinner, what's going on? She asks, concerned. Skinner turns around, her hair slightly singed. Oh, I was just trying to cook dinner, she says nonchalantly. Chalmers raises an eyebrow. And the smoke is a necessary part of that process, she asks, amused. Skinner chuckles. Well, it does add flavor, she replies playfully. Chalmers shakes her head. You and your weird cooking methods, she says, smiling. What is this? I ordered a pizza. No, oh, this is Escaron de Pecora. You wanted to try something new. I've never heard of that before. Why did you surprise me with something I didn't order? If I thought you would enjoy trying something new. <sighs> it's a delicious dish, isn't it? I don't understand why you would deceive me like this. What the hell is going on here? There's a fire in the kitchen. Son. Oh, um, yeah. That must be just a rogue umpire. A rogue umpire in the kitchen? How does that even happen? I don't know. Maybe you got lost or something? I want to see for myself. Let me pass. No, no, it's fine. Uh, I've got this under control. It's all right, Skinner. But um, honestly, I think you should take more care when choosing your food. I know you're right. It was just an oversight on my part. Well, I hope everything else goes smoothly for the rest of the party. Absolutely. 
And thank you for understanding about the house. Sometimes these things happen. Of course. It's just good to know that you're okay. Take care, Skinner. You too, Chalmers. Ha! <sighs> Have a safe journey home.